So how do you benchmark a Mac? Benchmarking essentially how fast is your Mac? How good is the CPU? How good is the memory? How good is the graphics? All of the stuff in your Mac to get yourself a nice big score at the end of it to let you know how good or how not good your Mac performance is. Standard gamer, for example, would love to know the benchmarking score of their PC so that they can compete with their friends and say, hey, I've got a better PC than you. And this is how much mine benchmarked at. So I'm Emilio, I work in tech and I love it. I love technology and I love the Mac as well. So we're now gonna log into my Mac. We're gonna download some software that lets you benchmark your Mac and then we're gonna benchmark your Mac. Oh, and also, why don't you let us know in the comments below two things. Let us know what Mac you've got. What are the specs of your Mac? And then what did your benchmark score get? We can go into the very top left hand corner, which is the Apple logo and go into about this Mac. In there, you'll actually see the specs of your Mac. You'll be able to see the actual computer itself, in my case being the MacBook Pro, as well as the processor and the memory. You can also see the disks, in my case being a flash disk that is inside of my Mac. Clicking on system report, you can get a lot more information specifically around the specs of course, all of those is what will make up the performance of your Mac. And then the next thing is to actually go and run the benchmark software directly on your Mac to actually see what sort of score you get. So we're gonna go and open up a web browser and we're gonna search for this application called Geekbench 5. So go into Google and type in Geekbench and here it is. We're specifically gonna go and download the Mac version of Geekbench. And Geekbench is an application that is used all over the place, you'll be able to run that directly on your computer and actually scan your computer to pick up the score of your computer and then compare that score against other computers that have also run Geekbench. You then open up once it's downloaded, agree, and then you can actually click on later. You can purchase the application if you so want to, but what we're gonna be doing to scan your computer and get the score, you don't need to purchase it or enter in a license for now, so later is fine. Once the app opens up, you see a lot more information about your Mac. You just provided an overview of all the specs of your Mac, the CPU, the BIOS, the RAM, the model, all of that information. Now you will need an internet connection to be able to do this, but then once you're ready, click on run CPU benchmark. The process has now started where the application is scanning your Mac. It's checking the performance, it's checking all of the resources. Once it's finished, a website should open up with your score. And here is my score of my single core and then multi-core. Of course, your Mac may have one or more cores, but you can actually scroll down and see all the information around your Mac, exactly what has been detected and how it stacks up potentially against other computers. You can then compare these with your friends. You can also go and see some results from other similar computers, including your top results of multi single cores. You can do a search and actually search for specific computers in there. And you can compare that against other Macs that should be the same as yours, but maybe running a little bit better or a little bit worse. Of course, every Mac is gonna be slightly different, so the scores may vary. So was your Mac any good? Did it perform better or worse than what you thought? Why don't you let me know in the comments below whether your Mac performed well or it didn't. Do what you do in the YouTube social media world by liking and subscribing, clicking on the button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. Thanks again. We'll talk to you next time.